Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, I've got a WordPress website set up, and this website is running the excellent Gravity Forms plugin. I'm using the Gravity Forms plugin to set up contact forms on the website. You know, the kind of thing, contact us form, get in touch kind of form. And what I want to do is set up conversion tracking on those forms so that when someone clicks on my AdWords campaign and they come through to my website, they fill in one of my forms, which are powered by Gravity Forms. I want that then to be tracked back into AdWords as a conversion. So without much further ado, let's get started on setting that up. Okay, I'm over on the uh, the demo site, the test site, which is at test.wpeagle.com if you care. Uh, you don't really need to go over there because it's just kind of a test site, but that's where it is. Now what you're going to need to do is obviously you're going to need Gravity Forms installed. Um, if you don't already, I'm going to put a link up to one of my other videos which shows you how to add some forms to your website using Gravity Forms. Hopefully that will appear on your screen now. Good. Um, if you've already got Gravity Forms up and running, then that's great, good. Um, the, the other plugin you're gonna need is the Creative Clans Embed Script, which you can see on my uh, screen right now under my plugin section. Um, so to add that, just go into your plugins, click Add New, uh, in the search box type Creative Clans Embed Script. It should pop up, click Install, and get it all installed. Once you've done that, the next thing we need to do is we need to create our thank you page. Now this is the page where people are gonna to go to after they've um, sent us a message using Gravity Forms. So I'm just gonna to go to Pages and Add New. Um, and I'm just gonna call it, we'll be in touch soon, because that's what we're gonna do after filling the form. I'm just gonna put a little bit of text. Thanks for getting in touch. We'll call you ASAP. Okay, you can obviously put what you want, but this is the page that's gonna come up when someone fills in a form on your website. Okay, now as we scroll down, we've obviously just installed that Creative Clans Embed Script plugin, and what that does is it adds this box over here. And in here we can paste some code in, um, and we're gonna paste our campaign uh, conversion code. So go to AdWords campaign. I've got mine open here. I don't actually have any campaigns running from my test account at the moment, but that doesn't matter. And then you need to go into Tools, uh, you'll obviously go into an account which hopefully has got some campaigns running. Tools and then conversions. And what we need to do is create the conversion tracking code. That's just loading. So I'm going to click this red button here that's got a big plus and a conversion. And I'm going to call it a, a contact message. You could call it a sales lead, whatever. The source is going to be a web page. Let's click save and continue. The conversion category is a lead. Conversion window is 30 days, which basically means if someone comes to your website and then they go away again, as long as they come back within 30 days, it will still be attributed back to the AdWords campaign. Um, in here, we're gonna select, um, let me just see what this, this is a new thing. Uh, okay, uh, we wanna go for one conversion for leads. Um, that makes sense because a lead is a lead, um, depending on, it doesn't matter if they fill in the form two or three times, it's still only one lead, isn't it? Um, you'd probably have this on all conversions if you were running an e-commerce site and you were selling things. Each conversion has the same value. Again, this is a, a, just a, a value you can put on a lead. I'm gonna say each one's worth 50, but you know, it depends on your business. Okay, uh, the markup language is HTML, leave that as it is. Now there's this little thing that it adds to the website for privacy reasons. Um, you can have it single, uh, line, two lines. This is only shown when someone has actually come through your AdWords campaign and filled in a form and it's, it's very small. You can select don't add it, but I think there's probably a legal reason why you should add it. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. But you can change the background color and whatever so it matches. Uh, my pages have got a white background anyway, so that's fine. In advanced options, um, we don't need to go in there. It's just a view through conversion window, which is not relevant at the moment. So click save and continue. And the next option is someone else makes changes to the code or I make changes, but because you're doing it, let's click I make. And then here is our conversion tracking code. So I'm just gonna scoop that up with my uh, mouse and I'm just gonna right click and select copy. Then in this other tab here, I'm gonna go back to the thank you page, the one that says we'll be in touch soon. I'm gonna paste that script into this box here that says scripts to be inserted at the bottom. So that's in there, then I'm gonna click publish. So that's all done. The final step is we just need to make sure that our forms redirect to this page. So I'm gonna to go to forms. Uh, this is within Gravity Forms. 
contact us and under settings and confirmations, you got your default confirmation. This is gonna be set to, it's normally on text with a message, I'm gonna set it to page, and then I'm gonna select that page that I just created which is called, we'll be in touch soon. And that's done, so let's just test that. I'm gonna to go to the front of the website and I'm gonna to go to the contact page. I'm gonna put my name in and some other stuff, and my email. My message, hello, this is a test message. Okay, then I'm going to click send message. And I've been taken to that page that I set up, a minute, set up a minute ago that says, thanks for getting in touch, we'll call you ASAP. Now obviously I didn't come from an AdWords um, click, so there's nothing triggered. But just to double check that that code is on here, where you can go to view page, not view page info, sorry, view page source. And this shows basically the code of the, the page, which you know, if you're not technical, it's gonna look a bit overwhelming. But hey, scroll down towards the bottom, and if we just keep going, I'm nearly at the bottom now. I've gone too far, let's go go back up. And in fact, this, this ah, I see it, there we go, look. So look there, under the thanks for getting in touch, we can see that here's our Google code for contact message, and it's there and it's the same as this one that we just copied and pasted, which is perfect, so that's that's there. I hope you found this video useful, you're all done, that should work. Um, so now when someone clicks on your AdWords campaign, comes to your website and fills in your contact form, it's gonna be reported back into your AdWords campaign as a conversion. Hope you found this, this video useful. Um, if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I will keep creating some more videos for you. I'll see you soon, bye.